Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Ken Omolo and I'm the founder of June Online. So yesterday we did a very interesting video showing you guys how to begin trading in Olim Trade. If you didn't watch that video, you can find it here. If you watched it, let's go on. Before we continue though, make sure that you click on that subscription button and you turn on that notification button notification bell so that next time when we do more videos on how to trade in Olim trade you will get notified so let's take five seconds and wait for those who have not subscribed to subscribe one three five so on today's video we want to talk about a different thing we want to talk about how you can trade profitably in Olim trade without using technical analysis tools or without using fundamental analysis to trade so basically what we'll be talking about is known as price action trading and it revolves around trading with candlesticks so if you don't know what a candlestick is let me just show you one of such okay so these are what we will be referring to so if uh, you have a trading account uh, if you have a, a trading account in olim trade and your chart is set to candlesticks then most probably you're seeing these things so these are what we refer to as candlesticks and those are what we will be using in this what those are what we will be explaining about on this video tutorial today okay <clears throat> so let's begin our lesson for today yeah so another thing that i want to mention before we continue this video is not only beneficial to beginners it is also beneficial to intermediate traders and there are a lot of other advanced traders who don't know about these things they only use technical analysis they use those indicators to trade and uh, they have never taken a second to learn about price action so this video is beneficial to everyone so don't consider it a beginner's thing consider it something that is very interesting and something that can help all traders so let's begin our trading our training for today <clears throat> so the first lesson that we will learn is how to use japanese candlesticks in trading so candlestick analysis allows you to understand and predict the market situation without the use of trading indicators trading using candlesticks involves the search for particular candlestick chart patterns that help to predict price changes the models of candlesticks gained their popularity due to their informative simple presentation of the situation on the market and high accuracy of signals so very many people use candlestick patterns to trade they use uh, they prefer candlesticks to area charts to bars and to to the inkeinashi why because candlesticks are very informative they are very simple uh, they are very uh, good to look at yeah <laughs> and they present the market in such a way that it's easy to understand whatever is going on with prices at any particular time plus when you're trading with candlesticks you get a lot of eye and uh, accurate signals so on to our next topic how to how do you read candlestick signals so that is something that you most definitely want to know if you are a new trader so one of one or several candlesticks on the charts regularly form combinations that help traders decide to open or to close a trade these combinations are called patterns and there are a lot of patterns in the market there are very 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 many patterns we'll talk about each of those patterns on our some on uh, on this video in the next few minutes so candlesticks patterns are divided into models that point to trend reversals and models that point to trend continuation so if you want to trade reversals example if a trend is going upwards and uh, you want to trade on the downside there are candlesticks that you can use to decide when to enter the market 
on the reverse of that uptrend or uh, if uh, you are trading on a downtrend and you wanted to begin trading on an uptrend there are candlestick patterns that you can use to know if the market will reverse and take a different course so all one <coughs> all you need to do to wait for a certain model to appear on uh, the screen and make a trade based on uh, corresponding corresponding prediction so all you need to do is to wait and wait and wait if you spot any such candlestick pattern that points to a trend continuation or a reversal then you trade so the next topic talks about how to trade single candlestick patterns so some uh, japanese candlestick models consist of a single candlestick in these models the shape and the color of the candlestick indicate a reversal or continuation of a trend if you are already a trader in Olim trade then you know what i'm talking about i'm talking about those pin bars those doji those amas uh, and we'll discuss all that for beginners to understand how these things looks look to get the clearest signals analyze single candlestick patterns for the longest time frames one hour or longer to confirm signals additionally analyze other patterns discussed below so the first pattern that we'll talk about is the hammer so if you are trading on a, in olim trade or uh, in uh, any other platform and you see these things these things are called the hammer excuse me these things are called hammers if you see how they look like hammers we can use them to nail something <laughs> okay so the armor pattern is a trend reversal indicator so when you see these things on an uptrend then you most definitely uh want you if you see them on a downtrend you most definitely know that the trend will reverse and begin going up so visually this candlestick looks like armor without a body looks like a hammer with a small body of any color and a long lower shadow so this is the lower shadow this is the body this is the upper shadow so you see the lower shadow is long the body is small and the upper shadows are small <clears throat> so in some instances there is practically no upper shadow on the hammer at the same time the lower body is usually twice as long as the body so you notice that this is longer than the size of that body in such a situation open an uptrend if the price fell before this and open a downtrend if the price rose before this so if you're trading on a if you trade if if you're trading on a downtrend yeah if you're trading on a downtrend then you notice a hammer somewhere here okay this is let's say this is a downtrend you're trading then you notice an ha the hammer you should know that this is a trend reversal indicator so you begin trading up likewise if you're trading on an uptrend and you come across this at the top of that uptrend you open a downtrend you open a downtrend because the trend is about to reverse so on to the next candle the next candle is the shooting star the shooting star pattern is a trend reversal indicator visually this indi this candlestick looks like an inverted hammer with a small body of any color and a long upper shadow there is practically no lower shadow and uh, at uh, the same time the upper shadow is usually more than twice as long as the real body in such a situation open an up trade if the price fell uh, before this and open a downtrend a downtrend if the price rose before this so if you're trading and you notice you trade trade you trade you're trading up and you notice this at the top you should open a downtrend because there is possibility that uh, the price is going to change direction 
alternate uh, conversely if you're trading on a downtrend then uh, you notice these at the bottom you begin trading on the on the different direction the next candlestick pattern that we want to talk about is the doji so this is how the doji looks doji is an indicator doji is an indicator of closing due to indecision in the market it usually appears when the supply and demand in the market are at an equilibrium doji looks like a cross so the opening price is virtually equal to the closing price and both shadows are long in a scenario that is in uh, this scenario the decision about the trade should be made in the context of the previous price behavior okay so example you are trading on a up trade uptrend you are trading on an uptrend then you begin seeing the dojis yeah it means the market is in an equilibrium state okay so most probably what you'll notice when after the doji has appeared is prices moving in a wave okay so you'll see them moving in a particular channel sort of a support and resistance level okay so there is usually no uh the, the, it's usually not easy to know where the uh market will go next so you can use things like support and resistance levels to decide when to buy and when to sell and when to sell and when to buy in that particular market later on we'll talk about market structures because market structures are also essential in showing you guys when uh these things are about to happen okay but that is not uh the purpose for this video today today we only want to focus on candlestick patterns so that is what we'll do so we've talked about single candlestick patterns we've shown you the doji we've shown you the hammer and the inverted hammer yeah so so far i hope you've learned something from that we've said the hammer as a, a long lower wick and a small body sometimes they will not even have the low the, the upper wick and we've said the inverted armor as a long upper wick a small body sometimes they don't have the lower wick and the doji we've said they have long lower wick long low uh, long lower wick long upper wick and a small body and they show market indecision so now on to our next uh, topic we want to combine these candlesticks to show you guys how candlestick patterns are formed and how you can use them to trade next so how to trade using two candlestick patterns you can often find candlestick patterns consisting of one green and one red candlestick on a chart they are close to each other in a certain way and uh and they give signal that you need to open an uptrade or a downtrade the advantage of such model is that they give leading signals the accuracy of signals increase when the market clearly shows an uptrend or a downtrend okay so examples of these candlestick patterns is one the bullish engulfing pattern which we uh, just about to see so this is a bullish engulfing pattern you can see that uh, the first candlestick is red and it is engulfed by the second candlestick so this is uh, the opening price for this candlestick the bearish candlestick this is the closing price uh, this is the low for that candlestick this is the high you can see on the bullish candlestick again uh, that the open is here the closing is here and on the weeks you can see the low and the high so it means that this candlestick it began forming somewhere it began forming here on the open it moved up then there was selling pressure it moved to the bottom and it closed here conversely you can uh, say that uh, the uh, green candlestick opened here it opened on this level here down 
it moved up or it it opened there uh, for it to form this week it moved down then there was a bullish momentum making it to move to the top then some selling pressure uh, pushing it down and it closed on this level here so bullish engulfing pattern is a combination where the boundaries of the body of a green candlestick are larger than the boundaries of the body of a red one as we can see it's big it's small okay so the green candlestick follows the red one and completely engulfs it meaning that the price of the asset has risen as a reason more than it has fallen as a rule of thumb this pattern gives a signal uh, uh, gives a signal about the end of a downtrend and the beginning of an uptrend so if you are trading on that chart on your mobile app on your uh, laptop or your, on your uh, on your desktop and you notice this pattern here yeah on a downtrend then it means that the downtrend is about to end and you should begin trading up okay you should begin trading up So likewise, there is a bullish engulfing pattern, the opposite of the bearish. Uh, there is a bearish engulfing pattern, the opposite of the bullish engulfing pattern. So that is what we we'll look at next. So on the uh, bearish engulfing pattern, you notice that the first candlestick is green, followed by the red candlestick. And the red candlestick completely engulfs the body of the green candlestick. So bearish engulfing is a combination where the boundaries of the red candle uh, body are larger than the boundaries of the green candle body. The red candle follows the green one and completely covers it. This means that the price of the asset fell more than it had grown. As a rule of thumb, if you're trading on an uptrend and uh, you see this pattern, then it means you should begin trading on a downtrend because the market is just about to reverse and to take a different turn altogether. The third pattern that you want to talk about that combines two candlesticks is the piercing pattern. So this is how the piercing pattern looks. If you're trading and you notice this, then know that it is called a piercing pattern. So a piercing pattern is a combination where the body of the green candlestick starts below the body of the red candlestick. So this is the, uh, this is the red candlestick, this is the green candlestick. So you notice that uh, the opening price for the green candlestick started below the closing price no it opens the end closer yeah so the opening price of the uh, green candlestick you see it here the opening price of the green candlestick uh, started below the closing price of the red candlestick okay and it closes at slightly 50 at slightly uh, a smaller edge above the 50 percent of this other candlestick uh, let's just read, read the explanation for you guys to understand better so a piercing uh, pattern is a combination where the body of the green candlestick starts below the body of the red candlestick and the green candlestick follows the red one the green candlestick follows the red one while the closing uh, price of the green candlestick is in the area of the upper part of the red of uh, the red candle body i think it's easier to explain how i was explaining it so this is the red candlestick this is the green candlestick this is the opening price for this candlestick this is the closing price for this candlestick this is the opening price for a bullish candlestick and this is the closing price for 
a green candlestick notice that it is vice versa of the first one okay it opens here it closes here it opens here it closes here so this one on a piercing pattern this one opens below the closing of this and it closes slightly above the 50 percent level of this that is the simplest explanation i can give okay so as a rule when you see the piercing uh, the piercing uh, pattern when you see the piercing pattern then that is a signal that uh the th that is a signal that an uptrend is about to begin a piercing pattern works similar similar to the bullish and engulfing pattern but it is not as strong to confirm the signal analyze other patterns as well so you can use this to open an up an, uh, an up trade but notice that it is not as strong as the bullish engulfing pattern so you may want to use other patterns on that uh, uh, market at that particular time to decide if to go up or if to wait okay so the next one is the dark cloud cover this is also a pattern that uses two candlesticks so let's learn more about it so the dark cloud cover is the opposite of the piercing the piercing candlestick pattern okay so you notice that on uh, it is the opposite in such a way that the opening price of the bullish candlestick is uh, here the closing price of the bullish candlestick is the opening price is here the closing price is here the opening price of this it opens above the bullish candlestick and closes slightly uh, a few a few inches uh, before the closing of the first okay i'm exhausted let's do that again so this one opens here yeah? this one opens here and closes here this one opens here and closes here open open <laughs> close <laughs> open close open open close yeah so the dark cloud cover is a combination where the body of the red candlestick starts below the body of the green candlestick the red candlestick follows the green one while the closing price of the red candlestick is in the area of uh, the lower part of the green candlestick body yeah so you see it's in the lower part of the green candlestick body it's shown by these lines here So you can see that it has gone about uh, below the 50% level of this, like we explained on the other one. So the red. Uh, so as a rule of thumb, when you see the dark cloud cover, on uh, you see the dow. You see the dark cloud cover on an uptrend, then that is the beginning of a downtrend. So dark cloud covers work like uh, bearish engulfing candlesticks but it is not as strong so if you find the uh, bearish engulfing candlestick the better if you don't use other chart candlestick patterns to determine which direction to trade on to our next the bullish harami so this is how the bullish harami looks the bullish harami is a combination where a long red candlestick is followed by a shorter green candlestick in this case the body of the green candlestick does not exceed the boundaries of the red body you noticed that on the uh, bullish engulfing pattern this one was bigger than this but now on uh, the uh, bullish arami this one is bigger than this so this works like a pregnant woman you see the formation whatever is formed yes so it bulges out okay so as a rule 
when you see the bullish Arami uh, pattern, then uh, that is a signal that uh, an uptrend is about to begin. So you should prepare to begin pressing on that green button, the up button, okay? So to determine the trend more accurately, analyze the chart patterns together with the support line. So it is recommended that you introduce support levels in order to know where to open your trade. So you can draw your support level here. So if this hits the support level here, then uh, this is formed. It makes the bullish arami and you begin trading up. Okay. The opposite of that is the bearish arami. So in the bearish arami, you see that the green candlestick forms first, then it is uh, followed by the red candlestick. The D is still formed, but this time you need to introduce the resistance line. When you see this on an uptrend, it means a downtrend is about to begin. So bearish aram is a combination where a long green candlestick is followed by a shorter green, a shorter red candlestick. In this case, the body of the red candlestick does not exceed the body of the boundaries of the green candlestick as a rule. This pattern gives a signal about the beginning of a downtrend to determine the trend more accurately analyze the patterns together with the resistance line so just like i've explained you can draw your resistance line on a level in a, in a level on your chart where prices seem not to go past that is above also known as the ceiling okay so you draw your resistance level there so if my head goes it it, it, it hits the ceiling and bounces back. You begin trading on a downtrend. Okay. So we've exhausted the two, uh, the second topic, which uh, was about two candlesticks paired together to form a pattern. So we've seen most of them, and now we move to the third one. So in this other section, we want to talk about three candles. How you can use how you can uh, determine where to trade by combining three different candlesticks. So how to apply the patterns of three candlesticks with an average accuracy of signal. So as, as I precision patterns, the combination of three candlesticks with an average accuracy of signal can indicate a continuation or a trend reversal. They allow you to analyze the market more efficiently than patterns from one or two candlesticks. So it means combining three candlesticks is more efficient and gives more accurate signals than one and two candlesticks. However, one should be careful to use these groups, uh, these groups patterns in trading. It is recommended to combine them with other technical analysis tools to confirm the signals. So this is where we begin using technical analysis tools uh, like uh, the RSIs, the SMAs, the EMAs, yeah, to confirm the signals. As much as uh, the three candlestick patterns are accurate, you still want to be cautious and confirm that indeed this is what is going to happen to this market in future. So we begin with the three star in the south. That is a candlestick pattern as shown on this chart here. So the three star, the three star in the south, south pattern is formed on a downtrend. Yeah. So most probably, not most probably, most definitely, you'll, fi you'll only find this in a downtrend. So it consists of three candlesticks. Each subsequent candlestick is shorter than the previous one. In addition, the minimum price increases from candlestick to candlestick. Okay. You see, this one is long, this is shorter, and this is even shorter. So the minimum price uh, for this was... Uh, may have been this, then the minimum price for this is that, and the minimum price for this 
a day so it keeps forming lower highs you see lower high lower high lower high okay no it is the opposite higher low this is the <laughs> yeah. so you can see the higher low higher low higher low for that it consists of three candlesticks each subsequent candlestick is shorter than the previous one in addition the minimum price increases from candlestick to candlestick the three star in the south pattern indicates that the downtrend is getting weaker and a bullish reversal is possible if this pattern is formed on uh, the chart the price is likely to rise after a fall so if the trend was this then you see these then chances are if your uh, if your support level is set here if this price reaches here chances are it will bounce back to the opposite direction bullish doji star say so the bullish doji star begins with a red a long red candlestick you've seen that long red candlestick the doji then a green candlestick it is uh, it is followed by the doji candlestick it is located below the previous candlestick and there is a small gap between between them so this is the red this is the gap this is the doji the third candlestick is also green its body is more than the body of the first candlestick and almost covers it so you see the body almost covers the body of this and it's bigger than this The bullish doji star pattern indicates a bullish trend reversal. If this pattern is formed on a chart, the price is likely to rise after the fall. Please note, you can enter the market by a bullish doji star only if the pattern is formed on a downtrend. So if you see this pattern on an uptrend, avoid it. If you see it on a downtrend, then there is a recommendation that is put forward that you can do what you can trade on that if you've watched this video this far and you feel that it is helpful please make sure that you give it a thumbs up okay so press on that like button so that it can be recommended to other people by youtube so on to our next uh next three candlestick pattern we go to the de uh, bearish deliberation so you see the trend is upwards then these three candlesticks are formed which is the opposite the opposite of uh, the other one that we've just talked about the bearish deliberation pattern is the reverse of the three star in the south pattern bearish deliberation is formed on an uptrend it consists of three it consists of three doji candlesticks the first and the second candlestick is approximately the same size as the third the, the same size as the third much shorter than them though opening and closing prices rise from candlestick to candlestick the bearish deliberation candlestick indicates that the uptrend is uh, weakening and the price may turn down if this pattern is formed on the chart it is likely that the price will fall after growth so just like i'm feeling exhausted after doing this tutorial for 32 minutes the market will feel exhaustion after moving on an uptrend for some time so if you notice these three things forming these three candlesticks forming after a strong uptrend then it means that the market is exhausting and chances are if it reaches the resistance level somewhere if you add it somewhere here then chances are if it reaches that level it will reverse and take an about turn 
okay so you can use these candlestick you want if you want to be careful use this candlestick pattern with other technical analysis tools you can use example the rsi and wait and look for the uh, rsi going above the oversold overbought zone if it goes above the overbought zone then chances are it's going to reverse that combined with this is an indication that you should trade down okay on to the next downside gap three method okay so the down the downside gap three method is formed on a downtrend it starts with a long a two it starts with the two long red candlesticks with a gap down between them this is the first this is the second there is a gap between the two okay the third candlestick is green and its body covers the gap between the first two candlesticks so you see that gap is covered by the third candlestick if uh, the downside gap three method pattern is formed on a chart as a rule the downside the downtrend will continue so it means that if you see this pattern forming on a downtrend then this gap is filled then a reversal will happen here and it will continue uh, i think there's an article that we've written about uh, the gap field strategy that just works the same as this so you notice a trend that is coming you see a gap a gap in between then the trend continues for some time you can capitalize on that because chances are this gap uh, the market will uh, try to react to come back and cover this to cover this gap here so when it reacts and it covers it with the downside gap three method then uh, you most probably should begin trading downwards because uh, this pattern tells us that the trend will continue downwards so this is just a correction of the market then the trend continues downwards so how to apply three candlestick patterns with high signal accuracy so this is just a a small explanation of how you can be accurate while uh, using these candlestick patterns so patterns of three candlesticks give the most accurate signals compared to combinations of one or two candlesticks for this reason traders often use these types of candlesticks patterns of three candlesticks indicate the continuation of trend or reversal of the asset price they can be used both independently and in combination with other tools with the other technical analysis tools okay so those are indicators oscillators yeah or a combination of uh, oscillators and indicators so an example is the three inside up the three inside up pattern is an extended version of the bullish arami pattern so you see the bullish arami we said uh, the big one forms the small one follows then uh, uh, you notice that it looks like a pregnancy so if it continues in this manner then that is called the three inside up pattern in this pattern the first candlestick is red it is followed by a shorter green candlestick and its body does not go beyond the body of the red candlestick the third candlestick is also green and uh, its closing price is higher than uh, the previous uh, green candle as a rule as a rule if you're trading the three inside up pattern then that is a confirm if you see the three inside up pattern then that is a confirmation that the trend will turn around and the price will begin to rise after the fall so it was falling the arami is formed yeah the bullish alarm is formed that is a signal that you should trade up if you see it forming the three candlestick pattern which is the three inside up 
then that is an even stronger confirmation that you should continue to trade in the up direction. Then there is the morning star. The morning star uh, begins with a red candlestick. It is followed by a short candlestick. Uh, it begins with a red candlestick. It is followed by a short candlestick or red of uh, red or green color. It has a small body because it closed next to the price at which it was opened. So it clo it opens it opens here and closes below. So it has a small body. The third candlestick is green and its body covers most of uh, that of the first one. Morning stars usually indicate a bullish trend reversal. If this pattern is formed on the chart that the price uh, on the chart, the price is likely to rise after the fall. Please note the larger the body of the third green candlestick, the stronger the signal. So this one, if this one had started here and closed here, then the signal would be stronger. But still, it is a morning star pattern. And if you're trading and you need to trade on the trend reversals, you can use that as your entry signal to begin trading. Have you already subscribed to our channel? If you're new to this channel and you just watching us for the first time, you can click on that subscription button and also turn on that notification bell. That way when we do more videos like these ones, you will get notified and become among, be counted among the first people to watch. Also leave a comment on this video if there is anything that you need explained further. Ne uh, next we move to the morning doji star. So this is a bullish pattern consisting of three candlesticks. The first candlestick is uh, red. The morning doji star is a bullish pattern consisting of three candlesticks. The first candlestick, red in color, is the final uh, candlestick on a downtrend. So it means that prior to the formation of this pattern, there was a downtrend here. So this is the final candlestick of that downtrend. The second candlestick is a star. This is a candlestick with a body, with a small body and a lower, a longer, uh, and uh, longer shadows so that is it it's a doji okay you remember when we were talking about single candlestick patterns we mentioned the doji it has both the up and the lower wicks longer than its body the doji can be of any color the third candlestick is green is however green and this candlestick indicates that uh, the end of indicates the end of the pattern in the, uh, the start of a bullish trend. In the morning doji star pattern, the second candlestick is the doji candlestick. It has no body and uh, the shadows above and below are long. The morning star, the morning doji star gives a strong signal thanks to the doji. Okay, it indicates that the price is likely to reverse upwards and will rise after a fall. Okay, so there is a downtrend that is uh, happening on the market. You see the doji, then the green candlestick forms to form this morning star doji pattern. Then that is a signal that you should trade in the opposite direction. You begin trading in an uptrend next the three outside up which is the opposite of the three inside up so in the three outside up you notice that it is uh, the opposite of the three out uh, the three the three outside up is the opposite of the three inside up and uh, it is a it is an extended version of the bullish engulfing pattern so we say the bullish engulfing pattern 
forms a small red candlestick then the body of the small red candlestick is engulfed by a green a large green candlestick in the three outside the pattern the first candlestick is red it is followed by the green blah 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 so the third candlestick is also green its closing price is higher than the previous candle as a rule if you see the three outside up pattern then that is an indication that a bullish trend reversal is beginning and is beginning and so you should trade on trend on a, a reversal okay so it means prices were coming down then uh, this formation happened then now you can begin trading up so next is the three white soldiers okay the three white soldiers pattern consists of three green candlesticks the opening uh, price of each subsequent candlestick is within the boundaries of uh, the body of the previous candlestick the closing price steadily increases from one candlestick to the next so these are the opening prices and these are the closing prices so you see it continues to form higher highs yeah and higher lows uptrend okay so the three white soldiers pattern usually indicates a continuation of a uptrend so if the trend was going up then in between you see this then it means it will continue to go even further this uh, tri next we go to the tristar bullish so you see the market is on a downtrend then three dojis form the tristar a bullish pattern is a reversal uh, version of the tristar uh, bearish pattern a tristar bullish pattern is on a downtrend so you, it was coming uh, pri uh, prices were on a downtrend then this happened then now you expect an uptrend it consists of three doji candlesticks the first and the third candlesticks are approximately of the same level with uh, the second below them so this and these are on the same level and this is below them this pattern indicates a weakening of a downtrend most likely the price will make a bullish reversal and begin to rise after the fall due to the three candlesticks uh, uh, doji a tristar bullish gives a strong signal if this happens uh, on uh, your chart then you should definitely pay attention to it because chances are the downtrend will end and an uptrend will begin then there is the evening star so this pattern is the opposite of the morning star the uh, evening star begins with a long uh, green candle a long green candle then uh, uh, it is uh, then followed <coughs> It begins with a long green candle the next candle is short it can uh, be both red or green then the third candle is red and its body covers most of the body of the first green candlestick most often the evening uh, star indicates a bearish trend reversal and if uh, this appears on your chart the price may start to fall after growth it grows you notice an evening star chances are it will fall so pay attention to these two points the larger the body of the third red uh, candle the stronger the signal the evening star pattern becomes a signal to enter the market only if it is formed on an uptrend so if you see this formation on a downtrend if prices were coming from this side and uh, you see this then that is not a signal if they were coming from uh, this level and you see this then that is a signal that you can go down on that market 
evening star evening uh, doji star so this pattern is similar to the evening star the evening doji star differs with the uh, second candle in it okay so a short candle doji after our uh, let me read that again this pattern is similar to the evening to the evening star evening let me explain that so the evening doji star uh, you'll see it on an uptrend so at uh, the formation of this uh, pattern here what you expect is a trend reversal okay so because of this doji the evening star can be considered a stronger signal it usually indicates that the price turned down and will fall after growth so prices were growing you noticed the evening doji star then kaboom the downtrend the outside down three outside down three outside down pattern so this pattern is uh, the opposite of the three outside up pattern so in a three outside down pattern the first candlestick is green you see it here then it is engulfed by a, green, a red candlestick then followed by a smaller red candlestick so the average uh, candle is uh, red and its body is longer than uh, the body of the previous one that is the second candlestick absorbs the first one the third candlestick is also red and its closing price is lower the lower than the the average the three outside down pattern is an extended version of the bearish engulfing pattern as a rule of thumb if you see this signal then that is a signal that you should trade on the downside yeah because prices will begin to fall falling three method so the falling three uh, the, the falling three method pattern gives a signal that the downtrend will continue despite the name okay falling three method the first then the three then the big red candlestick the falling three method starts with a long red candlestick then it is followed by a series of three short green candlesticks that rise one after another these three candlesticks including their shadow must be within the boundaries of the first red candlestick after the series of green red candlesticks there is a large red candlestick whose closing price is below the closing price of the first red candlestick if this person if uh, this pattern appears on the chart as a rule the downtrend is continuing okay so the trend is downwards you notice this pattern here then it means you should continue trading down three inside down pattern so the uh, three inside down pattern is the reversal version of the three inside up pattern the three inside down pattern starts with a green candlestick it is then followed by a short red candlestick and its bo uh, its body does not go beyond the body of the first green the third candlestick is also red and its closing price is lower than the previous red one the three inside down pattern is an extended version of the bearish arami pattern and uh, as a rule of thumb you should uh, this is this confirms a bearish trend reversal 
and uh, the price will uh, decline after growth so you will notice it in an uptrend at the end of an uptrend so the uptrend this is an uptrend then you notice the three inside down then it means uh, that a reversal is imminent the three black crows the opposite of three white soldiers the three black crows pattern is the opposite of three white soldiers so the three black crows pattern consists of three red candlesticks which are approximate uh, which are uh, constantly reduced the opening price of uh, each next candle is within the body of the previous candlestick so if the body of the first red candlestick in the pattern is below the high of the three uh, th below the high of the green candles candle that precedes the three black crows then this amplifies the signal typically three black crows indicates that the trend has reversed and the price will fall the price will fall after rising please note you can enter the market using this pattern only if the black uh, the three black crows are formed after an uptrend so if uh, the uptrend was here then you notice this red candlestick forming with a larger body and smaller wicks uh, and uh, you notice that the second one forms and it's uh, opening price is uh, almost the same as that of the closing price of the first one and uh, it closes way below the uh, close of the first then the third one also closes way below the close of uh, those two other candlesticks then that is a signal for three black crows and it indicates that a downtrend will ensue the tristar bearish the opposite of so the opposite of tristar bullish so it is uh, formed by three doges you'll see that uh, these two doges are at uh, the same level then this one is slightly above them it is formed on an uptrend if you notice this then chances are a reversal will come afterwards so that is the end of our tutorial for today for candlesticks if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and if you've not subscribed to our channel also make sure you click on that uh, subscription button and turn on the notification bell so that tomorrow when we do a new video for a new thing that you don't you didn't know about in Olim trade you'll get notified so that was my time for today back to our trading platform So back to the trading platform my live account still has twenty thousand dollars i've not traded for today but uh yesterday as i'd uh, shown you on the previous video i withdrew thirty thousand dollars from my trading account we can just see it again it's very it's very thrilling to watch yeah so i withdrew thirty thousand dollars yesterday on uh from uh, my account and uh, that is something to be proud of so with these tutorials that we do daily you can learn a lot from everything that is already available on the olimtrade platform if you don't have an account in olimtrade you can create one on the uh, with the link on the description of this video or you can go to june.co.ke and create your account there after doing that you can begin learning with us and you can begin trading with us if your account is still on a demo account make it a priority to fund that account because i can also help you with my trades yeah so if you are part of our trading of our trading group on uh, telegram i'm sorry today i couldn't uh, trade with you guys because i was making this video at this time but tomorrow 
will be there with you guys until next time bye bye i'm ken omolo signing out